The majority of students will not manage their time for the ACT math test as efficiently as they are able to, and this will cause their scores to not be as high as they could be. Although most students probably won't be able to know how to do every question and finish on time, it is very possible for students who have a strong background in math and have prepared well for the test to answer pretty much every question with at least some confidence and finish with time to spare. That being said, for the majority of students who won't be able to answer many of the questions, there are still some very important strategies regarding managing time that will help them get a significantly higher score than they would have gotten without doing these strategies. Here are four strategies that will help you get a higher math score even without knowing any more math than you currently do now. Not to say that you shouldn't still be studying and practicing math. First, and most importantly, make sure you get to and attempt every single question. Many students spend way too much time on earlier questions, especially questions they don't know how to do, and they are not even able to get to many of the later questions, some of which they could have done easily and quickly. By making sure you get to and attempt every single question, you will get more questions correct and thus get a higher score on the ACT math test, even without knowing any more math than you do now. Second, to make sure that you get to and attempt every single question, have the mindset that you are going to take the ACT math test twice. The first time through, you will do every question you know how to do quickly and skip any question that you don't know how to do or that will take a long time to do. And the second time through, you will go back to the questions you skipped the first time through. Doing this will allow you to get the most number of questions correct by not missing any questions you could have gotten correct simply because you didn't get to them. Third, even though the ACD math test is 60 questions in 60 minutes, do not aim to spend one minute per question, partly because that won't allow you to take the test twice as explained in tip number two, and partly because you should aim to spend a little less time on the earlier questions than on the later questions since they are generally easier. Fourth, combining all of these strategies together, I would recommend that you aim for 25, 27, 8. 25 minutes for the first 30 questions, 27 minutes for the last 30 questions, and 8 minutes to go back to the questions that you skipped the first time through the test. But if your math skills are strong and you don't need to skip as many questions, you can reduce the 8 minutes to maybe 6 or 5 minutes. The general principles to keep in mind are 1. Make sure you get to every single question. 2. Prepare to spend a little more time on the later questions than on the earlier questions. And 3. Give yourself at least some time at the end to go back to questions that you skipped the first time through the test. In the next videos, we'll talk about how to mark two different kinds of questions on the ACT math test. 1. Questions you skip. And 2. Questions where you're not sure about your answer as well as the best way to bubble for the ACT math test. Make sure you watch them.